I've been having a lot of questions about uh, what are unit struts and someone just sent me a message just now he cannot find or she cannot find unit struts well this is how they look like and uh, well that's what we're using here and unit struts you can find them in any department hardware store you're supposed to have them these are commercial grade they use them for all kind of install electricians you know builders they use them warehouses so you're supposed to find unit struts these are unit struts shoulder they have the super struts here is the voice of us carrying the panels as a 250 panel and we're gonna see how we can put this we want to put the vertical since this panel is a five point something foot long and these are supposed to be 10 so this is the problem now we're going to be facing another problem again because of the uh the length i think uh costco or home depot or they're supposed to have unit struts about 20 inches long those are like the real commercial grade for um construction guys but uh manar doesn't have it so what we're gonna do we did try and put this one vertical or horizontal and see just to show you guys how it looks like when you're trying to go horizontal you're always going to use a lot of space well they are now horizontal and only one panel can go in here you cannot have a second panel here so this is how the bus is designed we can have horizontal and uh, that's how the uh, where's the other one well that's how they're supposed to be on the side and you can have this unless we decide to uh, join them but if um, it's a welding it would have been nicer but I don't have a, I don't want to run halfway halfway into um, the bus so we need something sticking out something like this where we can anchor the thing so that they can be underneath and um, it's gonna be nicer but uh, bring the second panel let's see so divorce the horse here has already calculated all his timing and everything he said his bus is 19 foot long and guys these are 10 foot and these are two short ones i don't want to do that way if that was what i have like a, a brace right here holds it but these are some of the problems uh um we are encountering right now we decide to go vertical the bus is not um it's like a little bit kind of concave it's kind of a little bit a groove in the middle it's not like flat flat as you think it's not flat so if we decide to go this way and we are short now we end up tapping into the uh tapping into the uh the other extensions we just put right here right there so that becomes some kind of little bit concerning so guys this is what we're dealing with here and uh, if we decide to pull this panel back here and see where the unit struts is all the way there the the 10 foot long stop right here so we need about approximately one and a half to two foot long to complete the uh, one hole install. Well, having a half unit strut here, I'm worried about the uh, the wind and how we're gonna anchor that without having a problem. Going vertical is not a problem. Going this way is not a problem. The one unit strut is way too much because it's only three and a half foot long here. So three and a half foot long, we still have, so it's about six to seven uh, foot we can use. And the other one is extra, we can just cut it. So let's check it out. We're gonna go up and see how this thing's gonna fit up there with the vertical way. Like and subscribe. How to mount solar panels with unit struts or super struts. JW Solar USA part three of this video. So I have 
some people being skeptical the way I do things with the unit strut or super strut. We have 250 watt solar panels by funnel. This is the uh, specifications right here. Just want to show you. This one's going to be a series configuration since they are 24 volt panel. You've seen the voltage there. And what I've done, I decided to build uh, 10 foot. This unit struts are 10 foot long. You see them all the way. And we get all these, um, uh, the wings that goes through the, uh, the, the tracks right here. So this is the top grip nut is called say unistrut u-n-i-s-t-r-u-t made by art courage something like that so i'm using a 3-8 steel electro electro galvanized so i have the um, bolt right here i've used different ones this one's going on the, the mount and uh, i have other ones here nuts stainless steel so guys, uh, these washers on this thing, I just want to show you, here are the wings, and this is how it, it grips, it grabs the, the, the super struts or unit struts right here, this is the track, like a train track, it goes like this, as this rubber is going as a, a bushing, okay, they have the other ones with uh, spring nuts on them, I have those. But I just uh, decided to grip this, grab this quick so I can do this. And we have um, a stainless steel. What I use is a 3-8, one inch long. Okay. These are the, these are the, bo the bolts I'm using into these uh, guys right here. And if you can see, I can bring them here and demonstrate. And demonstrate how this thing goes. So if you can see... I put a center one to grab the panel really so that there's no vibration and my guy has not yet tightened the center bolt once this one here or else no shaking no vibration do you want to tie that one yep well let me see and uh we do those ones across the two long ones if i can explain to you these are the ones that's going to be anchoring all the way if you have like a um, um, a wood, uh, uh, a treated, lumber treated uh, wood, this is going to go on the other side. Then you can, anytime you just grab this entire module, becomes a module now, and move it, just bring it across and all the way. So you see, people sometimes they say it's too hard for you to tighten this bolt. Look at that, it's not going anywhere. I'm shaking it vigorously, you know, talking about a strong guy, and it's not going anywhere. So, I got this tightened up. I'm gonna tighten up these ones here. And people are asking, how are you gonna change this panel if something happened to them? I can just take it from the end here. This one's gonna anchor where I want it, and take the entire rack out. Take the entire rack out. If it's on a roof, you have a bolt and nut already. That goes on the roof. He stays that way. So it's easy for you to remove. Some people say, yeah, what about it's a large array? Remember that you're on a roof. You have more space, you can just move it. And you can do whatever you want to do. But it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Being on the roof and you get caught up with the wind. That's going to take this entire thing. Or shaking the panels really hard and destroy your investment and cause another danger for other people as well and always remember guys safety first like I always trying to tell you guys in my video safety is number one priority so this one see is anchored so it's not just on the sides when the wind trying to pick it up it's like this one is not tightened yet so you see that's why people are thinking it's, it's vibrating. No, it's not vibrating. It's not tightened up yet. So I gotta tighten them up. And you can put this on a solar pot or a solar mount. And everything's just gonna look really good. So guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, you guys can see it's tightened up. 
and he's not going anywhere so the center post and all these guys already tight and tight it's not going anywhere so this is how the entire entire array looks like so this is how you mount solar panels uh, using unistrut and super strut by JW Solar USA and uh, I hope you get a concept I'm gonna be uh, flipping these panels over then you can see how the panels look like some people are talking about me not using um, a mid clamp or a end clamp but this is what it is and this is how according to my application everybody has his own way of doing things and the way I'm doing it this way is just because of this is how uh, I wanted it to be on this application all right this is the one old concept about this you see all these sticking rails here this is gonna go I'm gonna push them so that they can be equilibrium or equal to the other side here that's it's gonna be something of this nature we just need a short one these are not all tightened up yet so that we can get our measurements how we want them and align them it's gonna stick out a little bit just like this size so the other one see it's about two holes here and gonna be two holes here very close one more then this is how I want them just to stick out so this is gonna penetrate to the roof or it's gonna penetrate to where I want it to be so these are extra I can be able to cut this side and make it well but I have to make sure I get the uh, the location I got um, the measurement where I want it to stick and we are good and this one is here the center tap see that it's really really strong it's not going anywhere it holds the panel really tight and for other people's concern they said I need the uh, how you call it um, the mid clamps so I have mid clamps here this panel's not gonna go anywhere so they tighten up then I'm gonna tighten the other extra um, rails here and make it really nicer all right guys this is how i'm going to wrap up the video if you like subscribe and share jw solar usa this is how you end up setting up um, solar panels using uh unistrut or super strut live yeah yeah there you go take care bye for now bye bye <laughs> well for all of you who are concerned the skeptics I even tightened up this thing way hard that you can see this thing is kind of a little kink in here you know kind of like a little blister and this thing is not going anywhere you can see how everything is tightened up and look at this it's not going you can hear the wobble from these ones here because they are not even tightened up yet we tighten them up by the time we have the perfect location where we want to put them and uh, then we're gonna tighten all these bolts all the way through so they can sit like that but we have to adjust this length right here to sit where the stud or where the uh, or the trusses are on the roof and that's why we end up having long ones on this side so that we can just make sure that they hit the truss or maybe at the center point where they're supposed to anchor and that's what it is and from now we're gonna take this panel right here we take one of the the wire sorry for the glare take this wire and we can bring it across the other one the female part of it so you can wrap this one around okay. all right guys so this side is a negative if you can see it's supposed to say on the side here but take this and stick it right here and plug it so you hear that click then that means you have a proper connection it has a seal here water seal so o-ring so we have this one set up this way and we are ready for business live at the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching, live in Minnesota. Love you guys all. This is how we set up solar panels. Mounting solar panels using Unistrut, Superstrut, 
for your RV, for your house, for your tiny house, for your cabin, for fifth wheel, and whatever you want to do for a portable solar system. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.